amazing things happened at all times of the year. This incredible looking fisher was looking for food, making its way through this beautiful forest. I'm sure this turkey knew winter was coming and he decided to fatten up in the same location. But soon, winter takes hold and very quickly the snow fills up. But you know, that's a great time to explore by snowshoes. During the winter months like this, when it's cold, there's actually an amazing assortment of wildlife that you can find if you can get out into this forest. Just imagine with snowshoes, you can reach into the middle of these trees and look for tracks in the snow. Now I've had a passion for snowshoeing all my life. That's because in the winter time, it's a lot easier to find signs of wildlife than it is when all the foliage is grown in. Now at different times of the year, you tend to see different species, especially with the birds, but there are some species that stay with us year round, like the incredible chickadees. All right, let's try this and see if it works. That was a chickadee. Later in the season, as the sun gets a little stronger, we catch a glimpse of something near a wetland area walking through the brush. Once it makes it out to the open, we see this stunning looking muskrat, also known as the water hare. Look at the beautiful sheen on its fur. This is one absolutely adorable species. On the warmer days where the sun's actually melted the snow, allowing for a little bit of green, this brings some food up to the surface where the muskrat could take advantage of them. Now here's a really cool print in the snow. You can clearly see that this was a mouse, probably a field mouse, hopping in and out of its den. And by following those tracks, we can see exactly where it's been hanging out. In another location, I spot some much larger tracks. Now these are really cool. They actually have five toes, which is a dead giveaway to fisher tracks. Now when fishers leave a print, it's very common for them to show two prints at a time. Now there's certainly been some digging going on around here and there's lots of fresh dirt on top of the snow surface. This is den building. This is what mammals do when they're getting ready to start a family and they're just working on the cavity area that they're gonna have their young in. After a few minutes, it was clear who was building the den when I saw this male and female red fox in the distance. They were kind of keeping a cautious eye on me, so I didn't stay very long. I see a swift moving flock of birds. And this time of year, it's clear what we're looking at. This is the incredible snow bunting. They are among the most hardy birds on the earth. Despite the bitter cold conditions and the complete whiteout of this blizzard, these birds seem to take it in stride. Now that speaks to their true adaptability into a northern environment. They have breeding and non-breeding plumage that can be seen. Inevitably, the need for food drives them south. This allows me to get this incredible close-up footage. This bird was so tired from the long migration that I could get really close in with the video camera. This location was actually a really good spot to have chosen. It's bathed in sunlight, exposing the old grass from the previous season. There was lots of grain and different food for the snow bunting to take advantage of.
During every season of the year, there are amazing wonders that await each of us if we simply take the time to explore. During the winter months, many people stay indoors because they're afraid of the cold. But the truth is, if you can get out and play in it, the winter is an amazing time of year. Snow is nothing at all to worry about. This is fantastic stuff. And if you can get out with snowshoes, you can explore the northern forest and look for wildlife tracks that you can find right in the snow. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier, and I'll see you again very soon.